Hey everyone, I'm Lily from Swift Comply Initiator and one of the organizing partners of this year's European Fox Summit taking place on 14th October in Brighton. Today we have CEO Leela Thompson from British Water, also one of the organizing partners of the summit, and she's going to tell us why collaboration is an important element of this event. Hi Leela, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much, Lily. What drives British Water to partner with Southern Water and Swift Comply to organise the European Fox Summit this year? So the key reason why we are working with Swift Comply and Southern Water on this year's European Fox Summit is because this event is going to bring together leaders and experts and a wide range of key players in fog management across Europe and hopefully further afield as well. Um, I'm really looking forward to catching up with people who are experts in the field, who are, can talk about and share about what they've been doing on fog management, in particular with regards to COVID-19 impacts. Um, obviously, with lots of restaurants um, and establishments closing, um, it's really, really important, especially at this time, that as industries re-emerge um, and other organisations and restaurants emerge, that fog management is right up there at the top of the agenda. Hey, uh, Lila, we all know British Water has been organizing four conferences every year uh, and for many years. But why is it important that we keep the conversations going about fog? It's really important that we continue to keep the conversations going around fog, especially in the UK around the Environment Bill and the Sewage Inland Waters Bill. It's really important that we get best practice out there in the field with regards to fog management. Um, and also it's really important that we highlight um, the different key players that are out there, the contractors that are out there, working daily with different organisations in different sectors to enable them to manage fog. Also understand the key issues around sustainability, um, you know, how fog could be used as a re renewable resource. Um, work with water companies to support what they're doing and also learn what municipalities across in Europe are doing as well in the space. So really it's around um, making people aware of the importance of effective fog management um, and also highlighting best practice, sharing case studies uh, and meeting different experts and finding out what they're doing to best enable different people in the industry to manage fog as effectively as possible. Uh, so, uh, Leela, um, a circular economy will be a central theme at this uh, year's European Fox Summit. Um, why is the circular economy, economy an important topic for fat oils in Greece? It's really an important topic because I think there's so much that's still to be done in terms of understanding how fog can be used as a renewable resource. Um, so I'm really pleased to see that sustainability is a key topic at this event. I think that there's some research that has, has already been done. As a fact, I know that some research has already been done, but I think more needs to be done. And I think it'd be interesting to find out what is happening in Europe in that space, um, in different parts of Europe in that space, and to sort of share any case studies and best practice so that we can share the learnings. Um, so uh, what do you hope we can achieve from this summit? Uh, specifically, what are the perks for the UK water industry? I think for the, the perks for the UK water industry is to help us support the work that's already being taken place on the uh, development of the Environment Bill, the Sewage Inland Waters Bill. I think it's really important that we bring key players together to sort of exchange uh, knowledge and expertise to ensure that what's happening in the UK is in the best interests of fog management. I think it's also important to raise fog um, management as one of the sort of really key areas that we need to be focusing on um, to sort of help our industries to put in place, place the best systems to, to manage fog and to really ensure that our in infrastructure that we have, especially in the UK that's aging, um, is uh, taken care of and maintained to the best standards because people aren't necessarily putting fog into the sewage network. So we really just need to make sure that we're sharing the best practice, that people actually understand the organisations that are out there that are working on this important topic um, to make sure that we are um, supporting and enabling a fantastic environment for future generations. So Lila, after 18 months of virtual gatherings, many of us has been craving for in-person events. Other than that, why should people attend the European Fog Summit? 
I think the European Fog Summit is going to be a great way to reconnect with people that you already know. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing people that I, I know already and um, yeah, just getting to find out what they've been doing and how they've been responding in this very difficult time of this pandemic. Also, I'm looking forward to meeting some new people, uh, finding out what they've been doing and how they've been supporting different industries and different clients that they're working with in terms of fog management. Also really looking forward to finding out, you know, how we can sort of push through in terms of the green agenda, building back better, um, the global sort of reset, if you like, of how we can do things better moving forward in terms of fog management. So I think this is going to be a key conference to bring people together to share best practice, expertise and case studies. So Lila, uh, you'll be hosting the opening panel session on thought leadership. Beside of that, what are you looking forward to the most about this event? So Lily, one of the things I'm really looking forward to is learning some new things. So maybe learning new solutions, maybe some new technologies, uh, maybe new companies. Um, so I think the case studies element is going to be really interesting, the sort of sustainability topic and different presentations that people are going to be providing is going to be a particular interest, in, in, interest to me. So I'm just looking forward to learning new things, meeting new people, uh, reconnecting. I think that's going to be really important to help us to sort of move forward on fog management and keep this topic at the sort of top of the agenda as much as we can. Wow, thank you so much. Um, I think if people watch this movie, they will be so uh, peaked to learn more about this. Um, I can say on behalf of uh, Swift Compliance Southern Water, thank you for uh, participating and uh, for your uh, support of the European Fox Summit. Um, Lila, thank you so much. And um, uh, the audience can also now uh, sign up uh, and register for uh, their attendance at the European Fog Summit. Just go to swiftcomply.co.uk slash fog summit. And you can have all the information on the website, all practical details, uh, because there will be also um, very nice um, uh, pre-event activities uh, on the 13th of October, uh, which includes uh, the Peace Haven Tour. Uh, and uh, a networking uh, lunch uh, with the speakers and the organizers. So thank you very much again, uh, Lila, and I wish you a very good day. Looking forward to thank meeting you, so you much. again. Thank you, Lily. Thank you.